welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christina DeWittewitz. I am a former TV news reporter now putting out YouTube videos. So I'm a YouTuber, a blogger. I make videos about everything related to lifestyle, beauty, fashion. I am not the best at fashion, but I do attempt it. And I give you my honest thoughts, opinions, and reviews on everything that I talk about. I have no time to lie, no time for fake news. We're all about being real here. You'll notice I also don't have a big collection of really anything, and that's because I'm not super rich. Not even rich. So I really like to talk about what I have in the moment. So today's video is all about my Rothy's collection. I think you've seen a majority of it actually, but this is just the first time I'm talking about everything Rothy's related in one video. So first of all, what is Rothy's? It is a company that makes shoes, bags, um, even now face masks out of recycled materials, like plastic bottles from the ocean. And they take that and make these. And what I really like about Rothy's is that their shoes are comfy. So they only make flats. They have little booties, but there's really no heel. Um, they have sneakers. And me being five foot tall, I was super, super against everything flats. I always wanted a shoe with a heel. But now I'm 30 years old and I just kind of got over it because I want to be comfortable. I'm not in college wearing heels when I go out now. Like that is just all in the past. Another thing I like about Rothy's shoes is that they're dressy or casual. So it's really whatever you want. And I've mentioned this in my other Rothy's videos and it still rings true today. The best part about them is that they are machine washable. And I think because it's made to be washed in the washing machine, they make it so that the shoe lasts longer, even their bags, like they hold up really well. So let's go ahead and give you a look at my full Rothy's collection. So first up, let's talk about their loafers. The first pair of shoes I got were their loafers in this olive green camo print. I really like that they have that orange and black stripe on the heel. I just think that is so cute and I just really am obsessed. If you know me, I love olive green. It is my favorite color. I've washed these multiple times. I've already lost count and these have just continued to hold up over and over again. The insoles are also removable. So that means you're gonna get a good wash and they're actually gonna really try. So that's good. The second pair of shoes I got from Rothy's were another pair of loafers. I just got them in plain black. I, all of their shoes have that signature blue edging on the back heel area and they're just so comfy. All right, so this is where it gets a little bit weird. I don't know if their manufacturing of the shoe changed because I didn't get that black pair of loafers for a while after I got my first pair. So I got the camel loafers in a size seven. A lot of the reviews at the time said to go with your true size. I am a size seven and they fit perfectly. And then when I ordered the loafers in black, I also got a size seven and they were a tiny bit tight, but I thought it was just me. And because there had been such a big gap in between buying the camo loafers and the black loafers, I thought maybe it was tight when I first bought them and I just don't remember. So I just figured, you know what, it'll be fine. They'll eventually like stretch out and be just like my green ones. And then they never actually did stretch out. Even though they're not painful to wear, they're just not as roomy as my olive green pair. So there was definitely a big difference. So now after that, I've been buying size seven and a half. And I think if I get another pair of loafers, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a seven and a half because something must have changed. All right, back to the collection. The next pair of shoes I got was the round toe in this light pink color. I can't remember the actual name, but I'll have it all written down in the description box. Got these in a size seven and a half. They fit perfectly. Now, when I first got them, I thought they were too big because my experience with the black loafers and the camo loafers really confused me and I didn't really know how they should fit. But then after doing some reading on the sizing on their website, they say it shouldn't be too snug. It should be roomy, but not roomy enough to where your foot's gonna fall out. And that's exactly how this pair fit. It's roomy, but the shoes stay on my feet. The next pair of shoes I got after that are these pointed toe flats in the berry color. I would say this is maybe my favorite after the camo uh, loafers. They fit exactly like the round toe flats and they're just so comfy. And I just love how bright that pink color is. It's really a good statement piece to any outfit. It makes any outfit a little more dressier in my opinion. So those are all of the shoes I have from Rothy's. So the next thing I wanna talk about are my bags and I only have two. You might've already seen my review on the mini handbag. This is in candy apple red and it looks tiny, 
but it fits quite a bit. So I'm gonna link my full review of this purse in the description box down below. Also machine washable, these are removable. I just love this, it's just so cute. The next bag is my Weekender bag and it's huge. So perfect for a weekend getaway. I haven't had the opportunity to use this yet. I just got this a few weeks ago, but what I really love is that the butter, <laughs> the zipper is like butter. So smooth. I had been wanting this bag for a really long time just because I don't feel like I have a good traveling bag. If I'm flying on Spirit Airlines or what's the other one, Frontier, my gym bag is just too small. And then my carry-on suitcase is a carry-on suitcase and I'm looking for something that can be a personal item and I figured this giant tote bag could work. But I haven't flown with this yet, so don't go buying this bag thinking this can be your personal item. They might say it's too big. I will be prepared for that moment. But you know, even if it's just for a road trip, I think this is perfect. It's not too big, not too small. I think it is great. It'll be perfect in the back of my car, in the trunk. It won't take up too much space. And that's it. So that completes my Rothy's collection. I do eventually want to get more of the pointed toe flats. I was actually really against uh, pointed toe shoes for a very, very long time. I slowly got into it within the last year, I would say, and got my first pair of pointed toe boots like super pointed toe, not like one of those, like it's pointed, but then it's round. No, this was like a super pointed toe. Also, some of you guys have commented on some of my old Rothy's videos saying I should get the pointed toe. I should get the round toe. So I really like that you guys gave me that advice because because otherwise I probably would have never stepped out of my comfort zone. So now I'm looking to get a black pair of pointed toe flats. I also want to get maybe a mustard color type of shoe. I can't decide if I would want it in the loafers or if I'd want it in a pointed toe or maybe both. I just like having options. But also why not turn to you guys for advice again? Let me know what do you think would be the best neck shoe to get from Rothy's. And I'll have links to each of these down below, but I can only share one link for the $20 off coupon. That's actually only good for first time customers. So if you wanna get a pair of Rothy's and you're a first time customer, I would definitely take advantage of that $20 off because these can be pricey but I think they are definitely worth it because all of the things I mentioned earlier, they're machine washable, they hold up well, don't go drying them, each item comes with instructions. So just make sure you don't throw anything like this into the dryer. Let them air dry, they'll keep their shape. And I think it's great because if you have a purse or shoe that gets really dirty or even the weekender bag from traveling on the plane, you can easily just toss it in the washing machine. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know which of my shoes that I have is your favorite or maybe between the purses too. And then let me know what you guys have. And that does it for this video. If you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. Also check out my blog, christinadudowitz.com. I post everything that I talk about here on YouTube on that blog. And also give me a follow on Like to Know It. I mentioned earlier, I attempt fashion. If you like anything that you see from my Instagram, go ahead and give me a follow on Like to Know It because that's where I post direct links to everything. For example, if I take a picture right now wearing this outfit and maybe carrying this purse and maybe wearing one of the shoes, you'll be able to take a screenshot of that Instagram picture. And in a few minutes, that picture will be available to shop. And then you'll see links to everything from that picture in one spot. And when I say shop, I don't mean you need to go out and buy it right away. You can shop in a way where that you kind of click on your favorite items and that goes into a little favorites folder. So very convenient and allows you to wait to save up in order to get those things. Okay guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.